In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use the auto reframe feature inside of Adobe Premiere Pro to convert your wide videos to square videos and vertical videos. Once you've finished editing your widescreen video inside of Adobe Premiere, you just want to go to the name of the sequence. So this is sequence 03 in my example. We'll right click and go down to reveal sequence in project. So that is this sequence here. We want to right click that sequence. Then we're going to go up to auto reframe sequence. So we can rename this. So let's go for square. The target aspect ratio is going to be one by one, so square. And we can select some motion tracking. So if there is movement within the frame, so if the person in the video is moving around, the video is going to follow that person. Now you can either set this to default, you can slow this action down, or you can speed it up. And then we can just press create. And as you can see, Adobe Premiere has auto reframe that into square. So if you wanted to do the same, but for vertical, we can go back to that sequence, right click, auto reframe, but now we'll select a vertical. We'll rename this to vertical and again, keep those same settings, press create, and now we have a vertical video. Now, if this doesn't work and the person that is on camera has disappeared off screen like this, for example, then you can select overwrite generated path and then you can just move through this in time. And then whenever that person makes a movement off screen, you can just adjust the position to pull them back in. It's a really quick and simple fix and it's gonna save you loads of time. It means you don't have to create loads of new sequences and reframe everybody. It's gonna save you so much time. So that is the auto reframe feature inside of Adobe Premiere Pro.